Hello friends, welcome to YouTube. I hope you guys are doing absolutely great. So in this video, we are going to learn about the JavaScript promises. So promises in JavaScript are like the daily life promises where when we make a promise to someone, either that promise is fulfilled or either the promise is rejected. So promises can be useful in a scenario like when you have uncertainty about the errors and you want to just reject the multiple errors based upon the certain conditions and you want to perform some long threaded operations on the background and uh, keep uh, doing something uh, other as well. So promises are pretty useful. So without further delay, let's get started. So I'm just defining a function here called login, which will receive the two parameter called username and password. This is kind of same example which we have done in the previous video. I'm just doing it in a promise way now. So like this is a function which will take up the username and password. So instead of returning a callback function here, we'll return a new promise. So you can return a promise using return new and saying it a promise keyword. And the promise keyword receives a input uh, function basically. So you can just define an input uh, arrow function here. This is an anonymous arrow function being defined. And if you don't know about this arrow function, you can check out my video about the functions in JavaScript. I have explained about the syntax of arrow functions. And this function being passed to the promise object here receives the two arguments called uh, resolve and uh, reject. So basically either the promise will be rejected or, or they will be resolved. So for example, like uh, if username is uh, equals uh, stack and uh, and we are going to find the one more condition called pass uh, that is basically a password and password equals beast. So we, we're going to resolve this promise. Basically, this promise will be solved. And when we resolve any promise, you can just pass some message content here. So I'll just pass it. OK. Uh, validated that uh, your username has been validated and if it is not validated we can just reject the promise and calling a reject callback and giving some data like error you want to give to the reject so re in the reject you can call sorry no record found yeah this is like it and uh, this is done and now we just uh, need to call this uh, function basically so we can use login and then specifying the username and password so for the username i'll call it stack and the password i'll give the beast now if we just save this program you'll see there is nothing in the output because if you know about the callback function we just discussed in the last video like uh, we were just uh receiving the data after calling this function but it's not in the case of promises in the case of promises you need to call a block here called then so this then will be executed if the promise has been resolved so this uh, will be called so this function will basically execute uh, if the promise has been resolved uh, resolved and we know that when the promise is resolved it's passing us some message so we just want to receive this message here and you can do whatever you want to do after the promise has been resolved so i'm just logging the message to the console so we can see there and there could be chances that uh, the promise is not resolved and the promise being rejected when the username and the password will not be a correct details so you can just use a catch block here they're called catch and this catch also receives an input parameter as a callback function so this callback function will be executed if the promise has been rejected and we also know that when the promise is rejected we are passing it a string here like what's the error so you can just use a msg here and then again log it to the console like what could be the error and if you save it and you see the output is validated because we have passed the correct username and a password which we are checking in our if condition so if i change this username and a password to some different condition you can see sorry no record found so as i said in the starting like we could use this uh promise to solve the multiple uncertainty of errors so uh, like let's just make our program more uh, useful uh, in case like uh, instead of uh, else uh, here now what we can do is like we just want to check if there is an issue in the username and if there is an issue in the password so i can say like if user not equals stack uh, so we can just return error reject our promise basically so we can just reject the promise with the error username not found and uh, similarly we can just define a one more condition for the password if pass equals uh, not equals basically if the password is not equals to the beast so we can say there's an issue with the password so we can use reject and then specifying wrong password and uh, yeah this could be the condition uh, like either of these will definitely execute 
so yeah if you save the program you can have username not found so if i give it a correct username but a wrong password you will see it like wrong password so yeah this is how you basically can use promises to handle the multiple uncertainty of our errors and uh, just pass the multiple rejections from our promise so this is pretty useful and uh, although we can do much more with the promises that we will learn in the future videos but for this tutorial i think this is enough to uh, know about the promises i hope you have got the idea about the promises and if you have liked the video do subscribe to my channel and let me know in the comments if you have any issue with the program or promises uh, so yeah see you soon take care